rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. So I'm, I'm catching up on my big finish. I'm in behind on my big finish. I'm catching up with uh, uh, the fourth Doctor Adventures. I don't know what they call the box set. It's the one with the Ice Warriors and the other one with the uh, uh, the Atlantis-like planet, right? Uh, uh, it's, it's the, the last one that just came out. Look, uh, these, as you'll hear from the review, these weren't bad in any way, shape, or form. I'm just, I'm saturated, right? I think the market is completely saturated. I don't have, feel a need to get the next full Doctor Avengers. I think I'm going to do it just to wrap up the nearest huge uh, uh, season. But the next three box sets are all with uh, um, Sullivan and Cross, which I'm just, I'm just not interested in at all, right? I tried getting into it with Unit Nemesis. Didn't get through the first box set. I mean, if I don't finish a box set, forget it. I'm not going in for uh, more. So then they were they were in Sylvester McCoy. I, I, I don't think they work very well, right? I don't think they work very well. I'll talk about, about this in the review. Uh, uh, but, you know, there has to be a better reason for me to listen to a, uh, a fourth Doctor story. Maybe by the time they, they do something after the next three box sets, it'll be a year or two, I'll... I'll uh, uh, I've got some space, right? I'll, I'll, I'll have got... Uh, I, I will got my appetite back. But right now... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm afraid, uh, um, yeah, this is not a recommend, sadly. Uh, again, not bad, just not a recommend. I would actually r rather listen to, like, the very early Paul Mag's uh, uh, Nest Cottage stuff, even though that's not like Doctor Who at all. It's just, I found it more fun. I found it more entertaining. Also, the, the earlier stuff, I like um, the, uh, the, the Missing Adventures adaptation. I thought they were excellent. I found the... Um, uh, the comic book adaptations, excellent. I really enjoy those. But let, you know, the main range was not made. The main fourth Doctor rage. The stories are more, more, more missed than here. You, you do get a good season. I did like the uh, uh, the Syndicate season. That was the one that there was a sequel to the Dalek Master Plan. Uh, uh, yeah, I like this. Yeah, it's always it's always a delight to hear Tom Baker. It really, genuinely is always a delight to hear Tom Baker. Am I willing to pay? Uh, uh, was it thirty thirty dollars again to to hear more? No, I'll just listen to my huge back catalogue. But so big finish. I'm begging you, begging you. You need to step up your game a bit because you're losing me as a customer, and I and not through uh, um, the you know, obnoxious wokeness, right? Uh, much for which wokeness. I I I always have to define that term. Of not uh, wokeness is it, it, there's a couple of uh, definitions. It's a mindless uh, adherence to social media algorithms idea of what is moral and what is not, right? That's why it changes all the time. Uh, also, it's um. In entertainment, it's taking something with an existent, powerful, strong uh, uh, audience base and using it to platform ideology. That's essentially what woke, woke means. And it was not that. None of it said, right? It wasn't. It's just uh, market saturated by you, Big Finish. Uh, uh, and this stuff just isn't doing it for me to uh, come back in. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Are you are you, are you you feeling the same way? I don't know. I used to love Big Finish. Oh, man, during their early years, the 90s, uh, late 90s, uh, the 2000s before the show came back, that was it was such an important part of fandom, right? It was such an important part of Doctor Who. Uh, and it just kind of like fell by the wayside. So I find, I, I find that a little bit sad. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, uh, hopefully the next thing I listen to is going to be better. I don't think it is. It's the jo Return of Joe Jones. And I'm, I'm still on the first disc of that. I found that kind of painful to get through. Anyway, anyway, uh, uh, look, this month we've got the War Doctor and Space 1999, which I think both of them, which I am, I have, I'm optimistic will be good. Fine, can I ask you to like, share, subscribe? That'd be fantastic. Uh, I stream daily onto Twitter, onto Rumble, and to YouTube. It's the same stream on three different platforms. I put videos onto. Um, uh, Facebook as well. Uh, and come and hang out on live stream. We we have fun. We take the piss. It's a laugh, right? That's basically the plan. We have a laugh. Look in the video notes. You'll find links to everything. If you want to be super nice to me, super duper duper nice, uh, head over to Rumble. Subscribe to me there. And also, uh, I'm not sure if this is out yet, but the first part of this, I have a deep fake. Colin Baker reading the fantastic Millennial Rights. I love this book. I didn't realize Craig Hinton had passed away. I'm sorry. I was, I was, I was really sad to hear that. I mean, it was long time ago right great book so it's a deep fake colin baker reading that book on tape you can get it on my youtube channel you can get it uh, as an mp3 on my sub stack uh, uh, in the video notes sign up for that stuff it's free baby it's all free anyway with that said like share subscribe comment uh, all those things are fantastic now let me hand over to me from last night this is 31 dollars blimey okay i think the price because the price has gone up 
So we we got two stories here in this box. So two two four parters. Um, for me, it's skippable, right? For me, this whole box set is skippable. Uh, um, it just feels like they got Tom Baker uh, uh, and they want to make more Doctor Who. There doesn't seem to be much of a point to any of these stories, right? I, I, like, like I understood them doing like six or eight stories a year on TV in the seventies because that was a job, but this is just constantly churning out stories and again it just feels they've saturated the market to the point where there needs to be some high concept reason for their big this story right they need to vote for it like what's the future that worked very well uh, um the, the tom baker david tennant one worked very well the uh, uh the the comic book adaptations work very well the 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 novel adaptations work very well these are uh, uh, just weaker, right? Uh, even though this has a good central idea about it. So we're fine. Let's read the blurb and I'll tell you a bit more. Recently, the world changed for Margaret Hopwood. Everything she knew about the uh, was turned upside down by the arrival of a strange man in blue box. Yeah, so uh, Neris Hughes was a one-time companion in the last box set, or the last one before this. Uh, she was pretty good, right? I mean, uh, um, I, I get the idea of the Doctor having an older companion. That's nice. That works. Uh, uh, but again, this just feels tired to me. It just really does feel tired. Um, so when he comes back with a uh, with a lady called Leela and an invitation to an uh, unusual art gallery, she's more than happy to join him for the ride. Uh, and what a ride it is because it's an art gallery on a distant world where a deadly plan is about to commence, or one involving uh, a cr a creatures called the Ice Warriors. So um, it's an original story, right? It, it's uh, um, I don't feel this is derivative of anything. Uh, uh, again, it just didn't... Uh, the market's saturated. I'd rather have listened to older stuff and, and not paid for this. Um, yeah, 2020, with 2020 20 vision. Uh, uh, so the basic idea is that so Margaret Hopwood is a sculptor and the doctor is taking her to see her sculptors in the future, how that they're very expensive. And she's like, well, very, it's like, you know, very, very well, well regarded. Right. Uh, Tom Baker's excellent. Louise Jameson's excellent. There, she's just excellent. The whole cast is excellent. Right. I don't want to say it's shit because it's not. I just, I didn't need it. Um, it's uh, uh, so they go there. There's a an ice warrior de uh, delegation, and they do something interesting with it with the ice warriors in that they are in it for the money, right? The uh, I, the, the ice warriors are very embittered and like like ah, oh, what is well, you cannot eat honor. <laughs> you know, they, they, they're like that. So that's an interesting take on it. I think that probably would have worked better with Colin Baker in a, in, in an eighties story, um, but it was an interesting idea. I like that idea. Uh, uh, but generally speaking, meh, right? Meh. It, what would I rather have, 1636 or this story, right? Uh, uh, I think I would rather have 1636, quite, quite frankly. Well, how much is, is, is the next box set? Because I think it goes up in price. Um, so the next one is 25, right? If you buy it early, 25. Other, it goes up to 36, I think, 31. Because I think this is the last one, and I'm basically out on that uh, after these. Because then you, you're on to um, the the next three are all with the TARDIS team that I'm not I'm not really enamoured with. It's uh, what's the name with uh, Chris Naylor and uh, Eleanor Crooks. And just, Eleanor Crooks isn't very good. Hey, I, I hate to be 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 the one to say it, but it just isn't very good. And she was. Uh, uh, basically cast because they wanted more uh, diversity and, and representation. And she's just not really good enough, right? And on the cover, uh, with all the covers she's on, they make her look smaller than she is to make her look like she's physically feels right for a companion when she really doesn't, right? And I don't think you can over, you can, you know, offset that physicality. I'm afraid, <laughs> you know, I think people, people's physical beings uh, uh, just exude in you know, uh, uh, unseen body language, you know, which, again, you can't see on the, uh, um, uh, <laughs> you, know, you can't see body language on, on, on audio, but you can kind of feel it. So this next one, um, uh, uh, to the loss, oh, I found this 
a real chore to finish because, I, again, I felt that it was just pointless. It was an interesting idea. Would have been a, a pretty strong season 15 story. Would have slotted in there quite quite nicely. Um, it's like, uh, I'll read the blurb, fine. Antilla, a place of mystery, a manufactured island of, uh, in space. Lost to time, but now it's been found. The Doctor and his friends arrive at Antilla at the same time as the uh, expeditionary party, delighted to solve what uh, one of the greatest mysteries in history but they may, may may have found more than their bargain for. Uh, some things are better off lost. So I'm kind of reminded of what Rusty Davis said uh, when he brought back the show in 2005, right? Why it's all very set on Earth, why it's Earth-centric. He said, if you have the Zog planet, which is being, where the Zog people are being menaced by the Zog monster, you're not that interested. You're not that engaged. You, know, you need a humanity in it. Um, so that's kind of the thing. This, the, having this mysterious planet, Antilla, uh, uh, like this Atlantis like planet, uh, um, you kind of lost it, but so and I think it would have worked better if the doctor landed accidentally on this on the on this expedition to find this 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 lost planet, right? Uh, um, and then went on the expedition with them rather than just happening to meet up together, right? It's uh, um, that you would have had more of a like, sense of adventure finding this lost planet. And then when you find it, you, you know, there is a, a, an evil mad scientist at the heart of it cackling, uh, uh, whose strings are being pulled by even more evil things. Uh, again, it's not a bad story. It's just I've uh, – I don't need it, right? I just don't need it. Uh, that's how I felt about the last Star Cops box set, right? I, I didn't buy it because I'm like, do I care if I, I don't have any more – uh, uh, Star Cops in my life. Uh, and I'm like, no, I don't. Right? I don't care if it's just, I don't care. Right? I'd rather have the $15, $20, right? I really would. Yeah, that, just the, 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 it, it, that, that's it. It might be a Dewey evaluation, but that is the, the evaluation that I'm making right now. Uh, so this, I don't know, again, I found it uh, uh, not so engaging, but nothing I can really put my finger on that I thought was bad. It was just weak, right? I did, yeah, just weak. Uh, um, Sadly, right? Sadly, uh, it, it's a shame. But yeah, never mind. So uh, that that was uh, uh, twelve uh, season twelve of uh, uh, box set twelve of the of the Doctor. Uh, so the next one, the Friendly Invasion, uh, and uh, 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 was it the Wizard of Time? Both sound kind of fun, right? Uh, uh, Roy Gill, Chris Chapman, they sound like you know, uh, um, like they'll be fun books, uh, they're fun stories. I think I'm probably getting this one because this one really does wrap up the. Uh, and also, I think I, th I prefer them being two, the stories being two parters, which I never liked at first. But like now, I kind of miss that. And Cold Stone is The Doctor versus the Angels. It's written by Roland Moore. Roland Moore's always pretty good. Um, and there's no. Uh, um, uh, well, there, there, there's no uh, uh, continuation for this character planned, right? So uh, uh, for for a long time. So we got like, yeah. Next thing is you have how? So wait, we had how many box sets with that? We had one, two. Well, well, we know you had one. Again, new frontiers. I get this is such a tie them together, do a damn theme. Oh, so annoying. New Frontiers. Oh, it's cold. No, it just doesn't really work. I'm sorry. Uh, Angel and Demons. Uh, who knows? Uh, um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I think, yeah. So then the next one, next three. When's this one due out? Uh, September 2024, right? So I don't know. Are they, are they going to bring their shoes back? I mean, they did all enjoy working with each other. Uh, I guess there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff announced. But, uh, um, yeah, yeah, no, this one, sadly, not a recommend for me, right? Not not a recommend, although not bad. <laughs> I can't say it was bad, right? I really can't say it was bad. My name's Vila Beck and you rabbi from another planet! Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.